just got back from a workout and was eating when these came to the front door. So we're gonna open them. Okay, so don't mind my son's laundry over there. He now lives in an apartment, but still comes back to do laundry here, which is totally fine. Gives us an opportunity to actually see him. But we're gonna open up this one. And what I'm planning to do with this is just kind of pop in, show you here, and again, some of the different items that were in this one. I don't wanna do piece by piece, only because I have gotten a little bit of a tip from a few other people who got this. And they said there is a lot of pieces in this box. So I do not want to have to show you all of this stuff. And by the way, if you are new here, hello, my name is Ashley Wheeler. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on a couple different e-commerce sites. And this today is going to be an unboxing of Quick Lots half palette of general merchandise. If you have not seen my other video of a Quick Lots unboxing, I will put it in the cards here. I definitely recommend watching that one. You can watch this one before or after, but you're gonna get a little bit of an understanding of how I feel about Quick Lots right now. So I am praying that this is better. All right, so let's see. Oh, please be good, please be good, please be good. Close, no, not close. Okay, so we have a Hurley, can be a face mask, scarf, bandana, headband, all the things, still kind of prevalent. Whoa, we have jewelry. Ooh, some pretty stuff. Okay, I see a 14th in Union. I see a Madewell thing, but it doesn't really have anything on it, so it probably fell off in here. Um, I see a Kate Spade item. Fort Teeth and Union, Nordstrom Rack, Vince Camuto. Okay, okay. I'm actually really excited to take a look at what's in here. But a bunch of stuff has fallen off of their things. It's kind of kind of weird. What is this? What is this? Okay. It is a home carbonation refinery, a sparkling water machine. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like it is. That's kind of neat. Okay, I just have to say, I should have moved this out of the way before I turned it back on. But I poked in for just another second. And look at this. There is a Burberry Matte Glow Compact. It comes with a little bag. Oops. It comes like this. And fortunately, when I opened it up, this doesn't even look like it's been touched. So I'm very happy about that. That'll be a great thing to try to sell. All right, where's my scissors? There they are. Next. Let's move you over here. Really quick, I wanted to jump on here and say that this is a collab video today. One of my amazing friends, Ashley, actually purchased the same half palette that I did around the same time, and she reached out to me and said, hey, let's do an unboxing together, which I think is gonna be so beneficial for you guys because she lives in Canada. So if you are ever interested in purchasing Quick Lots palettes or really any palettes from people, she is a really great source for someone who lives in Canada, or perhaps if you know someone who would love to be a reseller that lives in Canada, she's a great resource for you to know what is really the differences between trying to purchase stuff from companies that are in America and what does it take for it to get actually shipped over. And then of course we had to make this fun. So please, once you're finished watching this video, go over to her video, watch it, tell us what was your favorite item that you saw in both of our half palettes. And then the second thing is who do you think got the best palette? I would love to know. I want to know your thoughts on what you think, but anyways, let's get back into the video. All right. Ooh, what's that? This is a backpack. It is by Dutch Camp or Dutch Camp. I don't know. This is a really nice backpack though. It expands like crazy. That's awesome. I'll just take a look at this a little more. Oh, wait a second. Oh, side face. It's like completely sh like cut. Bummer. Ooh, here's a Betsy Johnson little purse. Christmas one. All the jingle ladies. That's funny. Here is a table tray. Train a Turk serving tray. Not mad at that. 
This is interesting. Ooh, what's this? This looks like, oh, it's a scented candle. Otherland, sacred dusk, incense sort of candle. That's interesting. What is this? I'm excited to see this. All right, it is. What is it? <laughs> oh, okay, it is an electric pour oven over kettle. I am slightly nervous, yeah. See, I was really excited for a minute there. It looked like we were gonna get like an ice cream maker. <laughs> This is an electric kettle. This would be super nice. Yeah, so warm temperature, prep the drip. It doesn't look like it actually had the other thing, which is fine. And I'll have to figure out how to get that back in. Hydrating lip gloss, not bad, not bad. A Vince Camuto hat, love these kinds of hats. We sell a lot of those, I'm not gonna lie, guys. The Baby Brush Crush, a mini heating straightening brush. Oh, that's kind of cool. It does feel like someone like put it back in the box. Oh, it's a dry bar. It kind of looked like that. Not bad. I'm really excited to take a look at what the cost would be. You wanna see? Wanna see inside here? Look at all of that. There's actually not as much as I thought. And honestly, there's another box that should be coming. I noticed that we were supposed to have three. Oh, hey, where are you? Hey, ray -Bans. how's it going? Those are actually really nice. And major props to whoever decided to put them in a scarf. What is this? That was really smart for them to do. Oh, Melrose and Marketplace, or Market. Is there any others? Oh, there's another. Oh, what are you? <gasps> no. No. Oh, hi. Hi, how's it going? Oh, yes. Let's try them on. Let's try them on. What do you think? Gotta tell me in the comments, guys. What do you think? <laughs> I see another dry bar thing in here. A detailing iron. Oh, it looks like it's a mini straightener. It's, oh my gosh, it is. Oh, it's so cute. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got in here. What in the world? Oh, it's broken. Sad face. This is a Christmas decoration. Oh. I mean, they tried. I bet it broke and break. Oh, there's something else in here. There's something else in here. Bravo, whoever decided to do this. I'm so impressed with you. Okay, this was just another Nordstrom. <laughs> I see something really funny in there. Um, another wide sunglasses. It's cool. Okay, this looks like all the same brand, which I'm just assuming is probably the Nordstrom brand. And then this is a Mars Explorer hat. Based on the popularity of Mars lately, um, I feel like this would sell. Those are gonna be so quick to list, which I'm so happy about. Okay, this is what I was laughing at. This is heavy. <laughs> it reminds me of Veggie Tales. <laughs> If I can find the picture of the character I'm thinking of, I will post it here. But, oh, this makes me laugh. <laughs> That's so funny and so random. You literally just plop it on the ground. Hi, how's it going? All right, I actually went a lot more in this box than I was anticipating. Go figure, right? Oh, a Zella sports bra. Sweet. Another bra. I'm actually really excited to go through that stuff. Just being honest. Oh, someone wrapped this again. What could it be? So I'm like so nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's never ending. Oh, this is really nice. I have a very similar uh, marble tray that I use on top of my stove and there's two of them. That's really nice. There is some more. Here is an umbrella, more decorations, Santa's little helper, and then there's like a big puffy thing down here that I'm dying to figure out what it is. Okay, but seriously, what is this? Sleep well tonight on this Ella Jane pillow. Oh, it's insanely soft. 
because I feel like anyone could really enjoy that. Okay, let's go to the next one, guys. What is this? A mini brush cleaning mat. I have one of these and I love it for any sort of makeup cleaners. That is totally damaged, the container, but this is a really great item. Food for thought. If you guys see anything in here that you are interested in purchasing, message me down below or send me an email. Otherwise, all of the stuff is gonna be listed on both Poshmark and eBay. Zero waste kit. This is a cheese board, coasters, keychain, a bamboo brush, chopsticks, stainless steel straw. That's pretty cool. I really like that. I'm really looking forward to my next box. Here's Spanx, size small. Then we have a Nordstrom pair of gloves. These, I would not be surprised if these are real leather because they have that buttery feel to them. Bombas, sweet by BP. Oh, these are adorable. I'll need to list these very quickly because they could be super easy for like a newborn, but I also feel like wedding shoes. Like aren't those little adorable wedding shoes? This is a really nice backpack. Madden Girl. I love the material of it. Let's hope that the back isn't cut. Oh, we are good. We are in good shape. Bravo. Here, we have another dry bar. That's awesome. I really hope all those work. I'm gonna have to try them. Here is a belt. This is a Michael Kors belt. People tend to really like that logo thing right there, especially on the belt too. So hopefully, is this reversible? It looks like it would be. Yeah. Oh, let's make sure it's not broken. Hopefully that'll, that'll attach again. And we have a full queen duvet and two pillow cases. Lights of Fancy Eye and Cheek Palette. Please tell me it hasn't been used. Oh, it has not. That looks great. All right, what is in here? This was smart. It looks like if they didn't have like scarves, they just used tops to pack things. Transfer slip out. This is a free press. What the? No. No, it's not. Oh my Lord. Oh my gosh. I was like, that tag does not say 149 if it's free press. Can you see that? Yes. Oh, what could be in here? I really like having all these sunglasses right now. I think it's such a perfect time for them. The hand wipes. There's a face mask. <laughs> Tell me in the comments below, are you guys still in lockdown? Are you still having to wear masks? Here in Oregon, we are almost 70% vaccinated, which is amazing. And once we hit that number, everywhere will be mask free from what I'm under the impression of. Oh, a virtual connect cocktail set, the gin and tonic. That's kind of fun. Oh my gosh. I think I just was taken back in time. If you know, this print, you know. Especially that, can anyone tell me what that is? <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, hi. Hello. This is really nice. Very good, very good, okay. Off You Glow, a K-Beauty Duo Set Hydrating Cleanser and Reparative Rose Hip Seed. That's awesome. I love K-Beauty. Okay, another Santa's helper along with some socks, a sports bra, and a really nice hat. I love this color. Ooh, don't fall. That's a really nice hat. It's like a performance material too. More of that dry, was that dry fit? It's another one. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, these things are so sturdy. This is so heavy. Please tell me it's not broken. Oh, look at that bad boy. This thing is ridiculously heavy. It is, have you guys heard of this brand before? Berghoff, I think is how you say it. It's from Belgium. Can you see that? It's kind of hard to see, it's reflective. That was what the other spatula was in, or not spatula, the skillet pan. 
This is regularly $200 and I am not surprised about that. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Okay, next. We have those curtains. More gloves, more gloves. These are so thick. They remind me of the, when the curtains are supposed to be blackout, that's the right word. Like you are not gonna see anything in there. Here's a NYX contour palette. It doesn't look like it's been used, but there is some bronzer on the front of it. I wonder if that was from like another item. A fun, this is a scarf. I could have sworn that was gonna be a blanket. <laughs> scarf and this is free people. All right, you wanna see in there? We have some supportive footwear stuff. Oh, another Nike set. We have a whole pot of Christmas stuff, you guys. It is Christmas in July. Of gloves and bras down here. Oh, this is a really nice hat. I like this hat. I love the logo on the front. It's a women's fit. Hmm. I'm just kidding, guys. Bye Bye Lines Foundation. I don't think I've heard of this It Cosmetic Foundation. Ooh, let's see. It's color deep it looks like it's still pretty new oh yeah I don't think I've seen this one before or used it I use their CC cream and I love their CC cream it's like full coverage but also gives you SPF this is a really great brand Murad it is this one has the water gel I'm assuming moisturizer and then an exfoliating cleanser that's cool I really like that brand. I've used it for skincare before. And we have a double belt. That looks like it should have been a triple belt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep playing around with some of this other stuff and fill you in as I go. The last box has arrived. Alright, now. Glasses. Not bad. I don't know if you can see that. Whoa. I think I'm gonna bring you guys closer. Well, I messed that one up. Apparently, when I decided to move the camera to the box, it decided to go in slow mo. So, unfortunately, the footage that I filmed, I can't show here because you would see it in like very very slow-mo it was pretty sad so what i'm going to do is when i get home i am going to do a highlights video fortunately my husband was a gem right after i had gone through the unboxings with everything he started sorting them into like this box is makeup this box is electronics this box is scarves and hats and whatnot so i can breeze through those really quick and kind of show you a little highlight reel of the items that i got and also so show you how i'm beginning to process the stuff because i did start to list the items all right so we have a pile going on in here this is where we do our flat lays and so right here we have a body pillow and oh that didn't work i had this when i was pregnant and i recommend anyone who is pregnant to have a pillow like this this is from what it looks like new so i'm pretty stoked about that then we still had some more Spanx. I got a lot of pantyhose or just more of the one that's about like right here um I got a lot of those. So I'm really happy about that. I'm curious to see how these do because I've only had leggings that are Spanx or jeans before. So we'll see. Next, we have a really interesting like coloring bag book. I've had some gel pens and then this like coloring pad, which I'm kind of thinking I should just give to my daughter because she loves small bags that she can put a ton of stuff in. If she had a Russian doll, she would absolutely love that. Moving on. We had three different dry bar hair tools, which I'm really excited to have. You saw this one already, and then these are the same. These are the straighteners, so there are three in total. 
next is a lot of jewelry and honestly guys when i had a little bit more time to dissect this jewelry unfortunately a lot of these items didn't actually have the pair so i got a lot of earrings or like this for example it says it's broken no class this doesn't do me any good my husband was saying that it might be beneficial to lot these items up see we're still missing some earrings there because people will create their own jewelry out of things and so there might be more likelihood of that however I have, I don't know about you guys, is it just me, but I have been getting so many people who are just complaining to complain in my eBay store, so I'm a little hesitant for that. Here's another makeup eraser, and it has the fun little cassette tapes on it. Yes, I know what that is. Pat my back. I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but there's a ring light. This one not only has different colorations of ring light, but it also has a little stand for you to put your phone in, which is kind of cool. Over here, we actually have another straightener. So I was happy to have some different variations and I'm kind of curious to see one, if this one works and two, if it actually, um, if it's a good one. Now I just totally drew blank. This is actually a steam waver. So this is like the beach wave look that you're trying to get versus a straightener, my bad. Lots of sunglasses, can you tell? And we actually have some more over there. I'm putting all of my inventory in kind of this section right here. I just actually found the box of the footage that went into slow-mo. So this is really cute llama. Merry Christmas canvas. Next, we have a lot more belts. And I can't remember if this is the belt that I got excited about. Yes, it is. Do you guys see what that is? Oh, yes. And actually, I'm really impressed. There's like no marks on this one. There's no bends on this one. It is in fantastic condition. I will unfortunately say, unlike the sunglasses I was showing you guys earlier, I got a closer look and unfortunately, they're not in the best condition. Here's another one of those Brixton hats. I was photographing some of those, so I gotta get them all together. Here's another one. Then I think this is a Nike belt right here. Yeah, check out that Nike belt. Isn't it nice? Uh, please forgive me. I normally have nails on and I decided to give my... Um, Nails a break after like a year of wearing them. Here is some breast petals. If you know, you know. <laughs> this was the only like snow goggles we got and I actually really liked these. These are pretty nice. We sell a lot of items of like accessories or clothing for snow. And so this is definitely gonna really work within our store. Some also really great gloves. We got a lot of gloves, lots and lots of gloves more bras too to be honest it was actually really surprising how many bras we ended up getting i can't remember what this was oh true i have this bra not this specific one but this brand a very similar one and i love it and a spatula well, or a spoon i should say yes yes i am yes i am i'm in my exercise room so more thigh spanks that was actually a maternity one, which is kind of cool. Those things that get you all sucked in. Okay, lots of wallets. So what I found really interesting about this box, and which is why it's kind of still off to the side, is the fact that we had a lot of like little things in this. So we had some professional ties, career ties, some fun little like headbands. I should take that out so it doesn't get damaged. We have a ton of these types of pouches, Christmas pouches. I wonder if that actually, let's see, does it say nice? Let's see, hold on. Yep, I was right. So it goes from naughty to nice. That's actually really creative. A lot more jewelry down here. I did actually see some of the jewelry was in good condition. I can't really say the same about this one. Uh, pretty close, pretty close. another one but it seemed like a lot of the jewelry that was in this one was intact whereas the other set I had shown you not so much this is another Apple watch um, more ties as you can see more tights and then more earrings that is there you are so there was a lot of little knick-knack things in here which is why we haven't sorted all this stuff out yet just a standard little coin wallet doesn't have anything else beyond that though so I'm kind of curious what brand that is 
gonna toss that to the side, figure it out. What is this? Aw, ain't that cute? So random. I found so many like home good things in this set. Ooh, oh, I hadn't seen that yet. One of those AirPod cases. That's pretty cool. Oh no, I think these are actually earbuds. Oh, that's awesome. There's like no other. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna investigate. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, they actually do have some in here. That is awesome. The question is, does it have the cord to charge? Ooh, and I don't think it does. So that's a bad day. I'm gonna have to fix that later. But bummer deal. Let's keep looking. These I'm not gonna be able to sell. We had some that were in the box. I will probably just use these myself. They're little shoe and soles. Another, I think this is a sham set. Buy some more pillowcases. Another umbrella. Another one of. Oh, this is different. I have a couple of the face massagers, if you will, the cleansers. I do not have a toothbrush one. So this is. It'll be fun to see what this retails for. Fifty bucks, maybe. All right. It's never ending. It really, really is. Another it cosmetics. This is, looks like same color as the other one. All oh, those are fun. Will they sell well? I'll probably like a lot these items together. That way it makes sense for someone to buy it. Brain paint? That is interesting. Hmm. Oh wow, lick of paint. Hmm. Another umbrella and some more gloves. As I mentioned before, if you haven't done so already, go to the description box below. I'm gonna have Ashley's link to her video so you can go ahead and take a look at that one. And then as I mentioned, comment down below, what was your favorite item that you saw out of this unboxing? And secondly, who do you think got the best half palette? I will see you guys next week. Bye.